Hi Pisces, thanks for tuning in. This is Patty at the Healing Room and um, I have put together your forecast for March 2017 in the areas of love, money, and health. Um, before I get started, I'd like to let everyone know that I do not believe in coincidence, I only believe in synchronicity. So if you're viewing this now, that means that you were guided here by your highest level spirit guides and angels and you will at least get one nugget that helps to either keep you on path, put you on path, or will guide you to somebody or something that will do that for you. Okay, so like I said, everything kind of your guides will lead you. In addition, I suggest that you look at your ascended and your moon signs in addition to your sun sign. Often, um, all three will give you a comprehensive view and some months actually your ascendant or your moon might have more weight, carry more weight than your sun sign. I've already pulled the cards for this month so let's take a look at the different categories. I'll bring you guys in on that. <clears throat> Alright, so for your first section here is love. So I feel like um, I'm going to read this a few different ways because these are general readings. Um, essentially, if you're in a relationship, I feel like it's decision time. Like there's some things that are not jiving with you. Um, and this King of Cups could be the person you're with, could be a water sign, or this could be you. So let's just say this is somebody you're with that is a water sign or somebody who has those traits of a water sign, which is very intuitive, very emotional, very connected. I feel like there's been things that there's been hurts and there's been pain and this either water sign or somebody carries those traits have made you decided that I've made you decide that it's time to um, you know make a decision whether you're going to stay with this person or not because I feel like this person has given you heartache okay and uh, these are old wounds so this person may have been with you for a while you know it may have been a bumpy ride okay but they're old wounds. There's no sharp edges at the end of the of Three of Swords here. Um, if you guys are not in a relationship, I do feel like somebody is coming. Um, I do feel like you're going to be connected to this person. And it's they're, they're calling upon you to not be jaded by past mistrust because of you know issues with former heartbreak. I feel like you've closed off your heart a little bit. So what they want you to do is kind of go within, you know, the lover's card also signifies um, subconscious, superconscious, um, and, you know, ego. So it's kind of like being connected to the all and really being connected within yourself. Partnerships are really a reflection of us. They're mirrors of sides of us that we need to wake up to. So normally before you get into a partnership, it's it's really important that you be balanced, okay, within yourself before you move forward. Um, yeah, it doesn't need to stall out anymore, okay. I do feel like there's somebody coming for you guys. Um, the only thing that's really stopping a partnership here is your fear of getting hurt again. I feel like you can just clear up these gray clouds here. Okay. I do feel like you may even be attracted to somebody who is a Pisces or a Cancer or Scorpio. This could definitely be the person that's coming for you. Okay. Um, but try to get balanced before you embark on it. I do feel like it, it, it's something that is important. Try pulling these swords out, okay? It's, uh, it would be nice for you to be in a partnership. I know you, you probably missed it, you know, if you're not in one. Again, if you are in one, I feel like there's work to do. Decisions, whether you want to stay or go, or just, you know, talk to this person and say, this is unacceptable. Or maybe it's how you feel in the relationship. Maybe you don't feel so good because you don't feel like you can trust this person. Like there's hidden things there. Either way, you can rectify it. The lover's card is actually, this is um, the archangel who's blessing the union. Okay. 
and the dissension is just gray clouds. They can be cleared up, okay? You just have to do the work, okay? Again, I feel like this could be your partner or this could be you. Um, either way, I feel like there's work to do. Even if you're single, I feel like there's work to do. If you're in a partnership, there's work to do. I feel like you definitely can be happily connected in the month of March, but it requires you to do some internal work. As far as your money, I feel like uh, don't be so worried about it. There are new changes coming into your life. Okay, There's going to be a bounty that comes forward. Um, the Wheel of Fortune means brand new beginnings, and it's actually um, really blessed beginnings. Okay, It's probably, um, maybe it's a job you've wanted, okay, or something that you kind of didn't, you wanted, but you didn't expect, but the Wheel of Fortune is, is letting you know that money is coming, and the Ace of Cups is also letting you know that money is completely, you know, you're going to be showered with it. Um, so you don't have to be worried, you know, like he's holding his coin over his solar plexus, which is like feeling like you have to hold on to your money. You can free it up. You can give it away. Start being generous with it because more is coming. And the more you give, the more you get. You know, you sow when, um, what you give, you get. Uh, what you sow, you reap, all those expressions. You know what I mean? But I do feel like there's changes coming in your money sector, brand new beginnings. And don't be nervous about them. Okay, it's going to be something brand new, but it's going to be so good for you. Again, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, brand new money beginnings. Okay, again, could be a promotion, could be a brand new job. This job might be stale that you're at. Maybe you're not making enough money at it. I feel like you're going to get a new position, which is going to make you more money. And that way you feel like you don't have to, you know, hoard because you got to pay your rent, you got to pay your bills. I feel like, I, I feel like you're getting the new job, you're getting the new promotion you're moving to a new place that there's you know a job waiting for you but i feel like it's a blessing and it's again any ace is the hand of god coming through the clouds so you're meant to move forward in this arena because your abundance is waiting for you okay as far as your health i feel like that's completely on the uptick this is the card of great health great family relations like everything's working for you Health, wealth, joy, all that stuff. So there's been something that's turned the corner. It's a 10 card, um, which reduces to a 1. So I feel like you've come to a point where something's completing. You know, like you figured it out. You've got a handle on your health. Um, definitely want you to continue doing natural things. You know, the Eight of Pentacles I always see in the health sector as being working on um, investigating and learning about natural remedies to continue this amazing um, streak of health and not to be worried and second guessing everything. Trust your hits, okay? And I know that you maybe you've had health issues and so you worry, but don't worry so much. Just go with the flow, do the natural things and keep everything flowing as it already is like it's actually amazing like your health is doing great so in order to keep it there you don't have to walk on eggshells just you know do natural things okay so what i've been doing this month is i'm also pulling one card from the dorian virtue angel therapy oracle card deck i meditate for a minute and then i go and ask for a message for um, each sign for the month of march so if you'll bear with me i'm going to meditate and then i'll bring you guys in okay Okay, here we go. All right, so thanks for bearing with me. I call upon Almighty God, Almighty Goddess. I call upon our highest level spirit guides and angels, guardian angels, higher self. I call upon all the angels that work with everyone who's viewing this video. I ask you, please give us insight into what message do you have for Pisces for March of 2017? I'm just going to pull one card from the top of the deck. And please give us insight into what message do you guys have for Pisces? For this month, March 2017, pull from the top of your deck. Okay. 
Oh, okay. So you guys got the answer you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So I completely think it matches this. All right. Because I feel like this is the problem. This has been the biggest problem. Old wounds. You know, like the people who raise you, they're just people. And like they suck too. You know what I mean? Like you might look up to your parents when you're young, but guess what? They're just people, fallible people. And unfortunately, they leave marks. And um, you go into adulthood and you carry it forward. And it jades all your relationships. All right? Like, it's 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 time to clear the slate. All right? Again, it's a matter of forgiving them for they know not what they do. Okay? Because I feel like these wounds come from, from from childhood, maybe a relationship early. I just get this feeling, especially with Three of Swords, it's old wounds. And their advice is the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So, you know, take the edge off. Be less harsh. You know, be more open. Listen more. Um, don't expect the worst. Don't be cynical. I mean, when you, a lot of times when you go through harsh stuff... You just, it's hard for you to believe, like, you know, anything can be sunshine and flowers. But I feel like, especially with the sector, the only sector that's giving you a hard time right now is the romance and love area. Because it's actually calling upon you to pull these swords out because I think something really good's on deck for you or something good can be rectified within the relationship. The relationship still is very strong. There just needs to be a conversation. But it needs to be from the heart. It needs to be from the heart. Not from the head and not from a place of, you know, fear or anger or revenge. You know, like, let's just be honest. You know, sometimes you're in a relationship. Somebody hurts you so bad, you just want to make them feel the pain you feel. And so, you know, you give them the cold shoulder. You know, you say exactly what you know is going to get to them. You know, you say things that you hit them in the Achilles heel, you know, you hit them where it hurts and it doesn't make anything better. Okay. And when it comes to the old wounds that I'm seeing cropping up from, you know, younger, younger days, time to learn forgiveness, you know, and if you can't forgive, at least begin the process of forgiving, you know, journal your feelings. If the person's still around, tell them, say, you know what you did back in the day that really hurt me. And it's actually left a mark. And I've had a hard time with relationships because of that. So I just feel like you need to purge it. And I feel like you're going to, um, I, I think that the universe is calling on you to do it. I think it's, it's right for you to do it. I think this is leaving. I do. I think this is going. I think this is, I think you're pulling out the last sword. That's what I'm kind of getting the sense of. Other things are actually changing for the better in your life. And also including the romance and the love. But it, it's requiring you to do some painful internal work, which nobody likes that. Let's just put it out there. But, you know, the angels want you to just go into your heart. You know, look at it from a few different angles. You'll know, you'll know what to say. You'll know who to talk with. And even if you just write on a piece of paper and, you know, and some of the Wiccan traditions, they just burn it, it banishes it. You know, you could put it in a balloon and send it up. Depending on the pain, you know, it may have been one person, it may have been several people. But I feel like it's a roadblock that you're about to kind of push down. But I feel like the work starts now. The work starts to pull the last sword out. It starts in March. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, you'll you'll do it. I have complete faith. I see you guys are so psychic. You're so intuitive. And you're really connected to your heart. But here's the problem. People who are really sensitive can have a shut off button. Because... Sometimes they're so open that it's like they can't handle it. They're, they're natural empaths. You walk into a room and you literally collect everybody else's feelings. It's overwhelming. And survival sometimes requires you to just shut it down, shut it off, 
you know, be in your head, you know, not be all in here in your heart and in your solar plexus and all your chakras. My, my suggestion would be for you guys to cl do cleansing, like, you know, take baths, you know, with deep sea salt, like the dead sea salts and, um, or Epsom salts and just cleanse. Okay. Because you're wearing a lot of other people's energies and it's making things heavy. I also feel like, um, really get connected, meditate, you know, be by water. My God, you guys love water. You guys are like the water sign of all water signs. Like you guys are just, you're meant to be near water. So you can slough off some of this auric darkness that, like I said, you guys are naturally empaths. You're probably, you know, uh, you probably carry many gifts, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, claircognizance. Um, some of them might be more developed than others. Some of them you might be, you don't want to talk about, you, you push them down. You might have profound dreams, but it's time for you to get in touch with that, get in touch with source and, you know, ask your angels, you know, what do I need to do in order to release this pain, these, this old heartache, you know, guide me. If you don't know what to do, ask for help and you'll get a message. You will, you always do. Okay. All right, so Pisces, I hope that helped, and um, I wish you all a an amazing March. Thanks so much.